So today I have one of the most unique ways to display your comic book. Uh, in my opinion, it's also one of the most beautiful ways. It makes the comic book just pop off the wall or, or off the stand or wherever it is you're going to put it. So hit the like button while the intro plays. Let's talk about it. So that's right, guys. This is the crafty comic book display. Uh, in my opinion, this is definitely one of the most unique ways to display a comic book. If you follow us on Instagram or if you check out our community tab, uh, you see that I've taken a couple pictures, started posting them. And to be honest with you guys, I'm probably going to continue doing so. I'm probably going to keep putting comic books in here and keep taking pictures because they look amazing. But what I want to do today is kind of give a full review of this. Again, it is from Crafty Comics. Uh, and in full disclosure, they did send a couple over for free. Um, just pay, uh, shipping payment is all we took care of. So in full transparency. But they donated a couple of these for a giveaway we're going to be doing soon. Our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, so big shout out to those guys. But again doesn't change my opinion on this thing. So what I wanna do is show you guys what it's like to swap out the comic book, and then I'm gonna pop up some pictures on the screen, show you guys how good these things look. Uh, so let's jump over to the overhead and show you guys what it's like to swap these out. All right, so this is my phone. I'm using it kind of as the overhead cam so you guys can see what's going on down here while I'm doing that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out this spawn and I'm gonna swap it out for this ASM 55 uh, I believe this thing right here will look amazing. And then once we're done with that, we're going to take some pictures of it. All right, so first thing you're gonna do, or you're gonna see here is it is basically uh, an acrylic top, and then you're gonna have screws here. Uh, these are kind of like an aluminum type screw. Um, so they are softer metal, so I recommend using uh, kind of like a plastic uh, screwdriver or something like that, because something like this, if you're not careful, you'll see over tightened a little bit and kind of messed them up but that's okay because you, you you don't want to crack crank down on this acrylic and end up cracking it uh, and then below that you have another acrylic outer shell which we'll see and then below that you have this really beautiful red paper uh, that is what makes it pop on top of this uh, I got the raw wood backing but you can also get different colors and stuff like that off of his website along with different colors for the mat so all we're going to do, like I said, just going to unscrew these. Recommend using a plastic. Honestly, like a guitar pick would probably work really well. Back end of a credit card if it's not um, too uh, rigid. But again, that's all on me um, because you, you know, really you don't want to crank down on this acrylic like I do. So it just needs to be snug. And this thing is going to hold on to your comic book just fine. All right, so we have them all undone. Uh, and you when you get this, this is actually, they're all wrapped up already. Everything is wrapped, so no fingerprints, no scratches, nothing like that. It's going to get on it while shipping. Uh, so I'm going to place that over there. Again, this is that acrylic ring I was telling you guys about. Uh, so that keeps everything nice and snug and safe. Um, and then, so let's pull that out so you guys can see. And of course the comic, I put Spawn in here for some pictures because I thought that would look pretty cool. And then this is the mat. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is uh, kind of like a framing mat that you'd put on a picture or something. Uh, if you check out the website, craftycomics.com, I believe they talk about, is it safe for my comic book and stuff? And all the frequently asked questions are there. Uh, again, it's kind of got this texture to it. Hopefully you guys could see some of that texture. And then you have the wood, uh, which again, in this case, I got just kind of the plain one, but you have the different ways you can hang sideways, this way, whatever. Um, so let's put it all back together. Nice and easy, because it all lines up with these. All right. And I know fingerprints, guys. I should be wearing gloves or keeping a cloth with me. But for the sake of the video, and I hate gloves, 
by doing so, but you can always just take a cloth and I probably should go ahead and do that because I'm gonna be taking pictures of this thing right after we're done. So you guys can kind of see. Look, there I am still putting fingerprints all over. All right. And then your comic book. So I know people asked, still bag and board? No, no bag and board. Um, and a lot of displays like this don't use that. Um, this is not the only one, even, you know, something like BCW Supply. There sits right in with no bag and board. Already I can tell you though, that looks good. So what I'm gonna do before we do any of that is I'm just gonna wipe this down because I know I got fingerprints all over it. But with the magic of Lightroom and Photoshop and some good photo editing, you'll never see. And I've taken this thing apart, put different comic books in, um, quite frankly guys, a bunch. And everything's gonna line up just fine, looking good. Drop your little screws in. I always try to finger tighten stuff first. And the reason I do that is because again, you don't want to strip these things out. So always do that. And then you just tighten it down. Don't do like I did. See, that's where I should stop, but I always like to go a little more because I'm an idiot. And then I'm going to hold up the backing here. That one's good. Ooh, I'm not left-handed. See? Use a piece of, use a plastic. I did it again. All right. All right, so literally as I finished up, the motorcycle started playing, but there it is, guys. This thing looks so good. Um, and again, I'm gonna take some pictures of this so you guys can see how good it really does look. But again, Crafty Comics, they have different sizes. Uh, different colors, all of that. And again, we're going to be giving a couple of these away for our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, I cannot tell you. Um, I've never seen these before, but somebody tagged me, uh, tagged us in an Instagram post telling you guys these things genuinely. I mean, if you want something um, to, to, to display a gorgeous, I mean, look at this, the uh, comic books are art, right? Um, you guys might've seen the pictures I took of the Alex Ross, Spider-Man cover in it. I mean, it looks so good in this thing. Um, but again, if you have a comic book cover like this that you want to display that looks gorgeous, this is the way to do it. This is a great alternative to be able to display something without having to go to CGC, get it graded, put it up on the wall. Uh, because again, something like this, I have no desire to grade, but you best believe something like this deserves to be up on a wall, still displayed and something gorgeous. So, but let me know what you guys think. I'm going to start taking some pictures um, with the camera here. And yeah, it's pink. Got my wife's camera. Uh, so I'm going to take some pictures and I'll throw them up at the end. We'll have a couple different comic books in and out of this. So let me know what you guys think. You guys are the best part of Two Brothers Comics. Smash the like, hit the subscribe on the way out. And as always, collect your way.